Hello, in this video we're going to be going over how to create an emote wheel. So first when we click our button, an emote wheel is going to spawn. And if we click on the dance, then our character is going to start to do that dance. And if we click on it again, our character will stop. So the first thing we're going to do is create our user interface. So if we go to create widget blueprint, and I'm just going to name this emote wheel. Uh, this will be our emote wheel, which we'll use to start dancing. So if we just go into it, if we search for image, so image, just drag that on. Now I'm just going to select this emote wheel image. I made this in Microsoft PowerPoint, so any image which you'd like your emotes to be displayed on, you can use. And just position this to a nice size you want. Okay. And with it, I'm just going to anchor it so it's in the middle of the screen. And if you go to the tint in the A, I'm just going to decrease this so we, it's not fully opaque and it's a bit transparent and we can see through it a bit. Okay, so once we've got that, I'm just going to compile and save it. And then next, I'm going to get two buttons. This first button is going to be, when we click it, it's going to make our dance. So in the image, I'm just going to select this um, image that I like downloaded from the internet. This could be any image or you can just leave it as the button. And when it's normal, hovered, and pressed, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this image and then I'm just going to duplicate it, same, and this will just be a different image because I'm going to make my character have multiple dances that he can do. So I'll just update this image again like I did with the last one. Okay, and once that's all there, I'm just going to anchor them so that they're in the correct position. And we'll just compile to save them. Okay, so now we're going into the third person character and make it so that this appears on our screen. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make it so when you press the one key, it's going to spawn this image. So if we look for widget, scroll up and create widget. And in the class, we're just going to select the emote widget that we just created. And we are going to want to add this to our viewport. So add to viewport and a target or just connect it into the emote wheel. <coughs> and for the two key, I'm going to make it so that this removes the image from our screen if we don't want to have it anymore. So off it, I'm just going to go remove from parent. And when the two key is pressed, we're just going to plug this in. Okay, we're just going to do a bit more things so everything's a bit more smooth. So I'm going to make it set show mouse cursor. So when the emote wheel comes up, we're going to make it so our mouse cursor is visible so that we can interact with it. Office, we're just going to connect this to the target, will be the player controller, and we'll just tick this box so our mouse gets so it is. Okay. For this, we're going to make the game mode set input mode game and UI only. I was a bit confused here and I just didn't know what I was doing. But if we just plug that all in and click the set show mouse cursor. A mouse cursor will appear when we uh, do our emote wheel. And off this, off the one key, we're just going to make it so it does it once and it only brings up our emote wheel onto the screen once. Once we've got all this, off the two key, when we remove the ramp, we're going to set the game mode back to game only so that it's just focusing on the game. And the target and the player controller, we will just plug that into the get player controller. And we'll just duplicate this and make it so that and uncheck the box so it doesn't show the mouse cursor. Okay, and we'll just plug it into the reset. So now, if we click play, when we press one, our mouse is going to appear and it's going to show our wheel. And if we press two, our mouse will disappear and the wheel won't be there anymore. Okay, so there's an error because um, I didn't plug the set input mode game and UI only into the player controller so you just plug that in if you want to get rid of that error and if we compile now we have our UI so now we're gonna add some functionality to it so if you go into your character's animation blueprint so my Star Wars and BP and as you can see I've created two variables these will be our dance variables so you want to create two boolean variables and name them your dance moves so once you have these just drag on the dance moves and we're just gonna from your walking slash running plan space, you'll just plug it in and draw these arrows. And inside the first one, 
So my first dance is shuffle, so get shuffle. And when we're in this, we're gonna start doing our shuffle dance. And we just click the opposing arrow, we'll get the shuffle, and put not boolean, so if we're not doing this, we'll be on our walking, and we'll be on our normal just walking slash running state. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the YMCA dance. Okay, so I'll just go on and save that, and now we go to our main wheel. If we just scroll down, we're going to look for on click. So when we click this button, we're going to start dancing. So the first thing we'll do is cast to our third person character. Third person character, and as the object, we're just going to get the player character. So we're going to press to it, and from here, we're going to get his anim instance. So this, so we can create a reference to his animation blueprint. So then we're going to cast to our whatever your animation blueprint is called so mine's star wars anim bp so we just plug that all in and from here we're going to set the shuffle to true and just click that box and our character will start to shuffle if this button is pressed so there's a bit more we need to do so we're just going to do it with the other mode so that we can have the two dances so i'm just going to copy and paste this like so and just plug that in so off here we're just going to untick shuffle and leave it and then we're going to set YMCA this is just so that if we were in the shuffle dance and we click this we're going to stop doing the shuffle dance and start doing the YMCA so we're going to do the same thing here and set YMCA to nothing so that if we were doing YMC dance, YMCA dance we'd stop and then start doing our shuffle dance Whoops, and just plug that in and compile. So there's one more step that we're gonna do. Just delete that for space. If we go in here and go flip flop, flip flop. So at A, we're just gonna do this when we click the button. We're just gonna move this up and duplicate it. But this time, we're just gonna uncheck both boxes so that if we click the button again, our player will stop dancing. And we're gonna create a flip-flop here as well so flip-flop and we'll just duplicate this so control C and then control V and if we just plug B in here and if we just uncheck both boxes and compile to so save that one now if we just close this and click play when we press our one key we click on that now press my two key, our character will start to do his shuffle dance and if we just click it again, he'll stop doing it. And if we open up the wheel and click the second dance, our character will start to do his dance. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed it, uh, like and subscribe, and if you have any ideas for a video, leave it in the comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.